हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज प्रोफेसर राम घुके तो अभी देखो दो तीन चीज़ें हैं हमने ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी फोर मार्क्स के वीडियोज बेस्ट ऑन एम सी क्यू कवर किए हैं और आज के इस वीडियो लेक्चर में हमने यूनिट नंबर वन अप्लाइड ग्रामर इसके जो डिफिकल्ट पार्ट है जिसमें डायरेक्ट इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच है और चेंज द वॉइस है तो हम उसको सिर्फ किस प्रकार के एम इन टॉपिक के ऊपर पूछे जाएंगे इसके बारे में आज के लेक्चर में हम डिस्कस करेंगे अभी ये पूरा उसके रूल्स बाद में उसके फॉर्मूले ये सब पढ़ाना उतना टाइम तो है नहीं है बट एग्जैक्टली uh, exactly किस प्रकार से एम एग्जाम में पूछे जाएंगे इस बात को हम यहाँ पे डिस्कस करेंगे ये तो पहला आज के वीडियो का मकसद है सेकंड बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट के मैं कमेंट पढ़ रहा था और उसमें बहुत सारी चीजें वो पूछते हैं लेकिन ऑलरेडी यूनिट नंबर वन अप्लाइड ग्रामर एक चैप्टर या यूनिट छोड़ के बाकी सारे यूनिट के ऊपर हमने एम बेस्ड वीडियो बनाए हैं आप चैनल पे सर्च कीजिएगा आपको मिल जाएगा दूसरी चीज बहुत सारे बच्चों की ये डिमांड भी है कि हम लोगों को वो 500 सौ वाला नोट्स चाहिए जिसमें हमने 500 सौ कवर किए हैं तो आज मुझे आप लोगों को ये बताने में खुशी है कि इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में जाके चेक कीजिएगा वहां पे मैंने वो नोट्स का लिंक दिया हुआ है तो आप लोग वहां जाके वो नोट्स पूरी तरह से पढ़ सकते हैं तो नोट्स आज के लेक्चर में नीचे लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है वहां पे जाके पासवर्ड प्रोटेक्टेड नोट्स है तो आपको वहां पे पासवर्ड भी प्रोवाइड किया जाएगा तो ऑब्वियसली आप लोग उस नोट का इस्तेमाल करके 25 तारीख यानी बहुत कम दिन है और जितना पॉसिबल हम लोगों को उतना आ, हम इसमें वीडियो लेक्चर में कवर कर रहे हैं ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी मार्क तक आ चुके हैं टेन ट्वेल्व मार्क रह गया है तो उसको भी हम कवर करने की कोशिश करेंगे ये दूसरी बात अब फाइनल एंड थर्ड क्योंकि आप तक पढ़ाई तो हम लोग कर रहे हैं पर असेसमेंट कहीं पे नहीं हो रहा है तो हमने प्लान किया है कि वन टू वन एक दिन के बाद यानी संडे एक प्रीलिम एग्जाम हम लोग लेंगे उसका एक वीडियो बनेगा दो मिनट का उसमें इंस्ट्रक्शन बाकी सारी चीजें हम बताएंगे और नीचे लिंक दिया जाएगा गूगल फॉर्म का तो वहां पे सत्तर से अस्सी क्वेश्चन का एक प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट होगा कि किस प्रकार के एमसीक्यू और आई वाले उसमें आएंगे मतलब आईएमपी क्वेश्चंस के ऊपर एक टेस्ट हम लेंगे और उससे आपको पता चलेगा एग्जैक्टली exactly आप किस लेवल पर हो और कितना दो तीन दिन में आगे पढ़ाई करना है इसका पता आपको चलना चाहिए दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई एम प्लानिंग टू मेक अ टेस्ट प्रीलिम एग्जाम पर से फॉर ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी मार्क्स सो यू हैव टू अपेयर फॉर दैट एग्जामिनेशन and immediate after submission you will get the result of that examination so that is the beauty of online education right so once you finish the exam and submit the form you will receive a result so how uh, you know if the exam is for 100 or 70 marks so out of that how much uh, you got in that particular subject so that is uh, you know give you clear cut idea where exactly you are stand as far as the english language and mcq best examination is concerned and therefore one day before i am providing notes on all the chapters so go through the notes and try to understand the exam pattern and prepare accordingly and beforehand you will come to know exactly your level and don't did get discouraged by uh, if you received uh, less marks and all that because it just giving you an idea how you can spend your next 2 to 3 days and how much time you have to spend for preparing for the mcqs of english right so therefore i request all of you go through the notes and tomorrow uh, there will be a prelim examination so let's begin with the today's topic and the topic is very uh, a little bit difficult for some students and for some it is easy and the topic name is we are going to discuss 15 direct to indirect questions uh, and uh, mcq best questions right let's let's begin with the lecture now okay so we are here the first question i said to him will you go to delhi so now if there is a sentence in direct speech 
so you have to convert it into indirect speech and if the sentence is already in indirect speech so it's simple that you have to do the vice versa right so uh, i said to him in double inverted comma will you go to delhi so this sentence is indirect speech because the identification of uh, direct or indirect is you just uh, try to focus on the double inverted comma that sentence which come in double inverted comma is considered as a direct speech right and you have to convert it into indirect right so the answer for this is i said b number i said to him would he go to delhi so uh, we know the rule that uh, back shifting is there if this uh, you know there is a reporting verb said in the sentence then we have to take a back shift the sentence is in a present tense then we have to uh, convert it into the past tense right so i will not explain all the rules here now because that much time i don't have next question he said i have read this novel okay he said i have read this novel and the answer number is b uh, he said that he had read that novel now you can understand here the back shifting is there because of just reporting verbs said right so the sentence in double inverted comma is in present perfect tense and when we convert it into the indirect speech it become past perfect tense and he said is same there is a conjunction in each and every indirect speech that is that so he said that he had read that novel this becomes that right yesterday becomes the day before tomorrow become the next day you know all these rules i consider that you have studied all of this i'm just giving you an idea what type of mcq you will get the examination on this particular topic next question tanya said to her friend can you lend me an umbrella okay and the answer number c is the correct answer here tanya requested her friend to lend her an umbrella so that is the correct answer next my friend requested me to bring him a sandwich my friend requested me to bring him a sandwich there is no inverted comma that's why this sentence is already in indirect speech now we have to convert it into direct speech and the answer number b is the correct answer here my friend said will you bring me a sandwich so that is the correct answer question number five he said if i had the tools i could mend the car right and the answer number option a is the correct he said that if he had the tools he could mend the cars right so there is no change only the double inverted comma and everything else is removed he says that he is very sorry now the, there is no double inverted comma once again and therefore this sentence comes under the category of uh, indirect speech directly and the correct answer in direct speech for this particular question is he says comma double inverted comma i'm very sorry so b option is correct daman said priya is working in ahmedabad so daman said that priya was working in ahmedabad so back, back shifting is there in this particular b is the correct answer here eighth number question na said it's time to leave for the meeting it's time to leave for the meeting and is said okay and is said that it was time to leave for the meeting now he is become was so back shifting is there next question nine number i said water is essential for life this is the statement so statement not get change as such right he said that water is essential for life that is the d option is the correct answer here question number 10 uh, she said to me what about what do you want now and the uh, you know correct option is b number she asked me what i wanted then so now become then right ima said people in africa are starving so ima said people in africa are starving now this is indirect so we will convert it into indirect speech that is ima said that people in africa were starving so back shifting is there next she said to him i don't believe you 
So the correct option is D. She told him that she did not believe him. So don't become didn't, right? So back shifting. Param said to me, he moved a year ago. Param told me that he had moved a year ago. So now the past simple become past perfect here, right? So back shifting. He said to me, I have not done it today. He told me that he had not done it that day. Today become that day and uh, present perfect become past perfect in the indirect speech. Next one, 15 number. I brought you this book, she said to him. She said to him that she had brought him that book. These become that and you know the past simple become past perfect here. Right. The next question, 16 number. I think this will uh, be the last one. Don't play on the grass, boys, she said. She ordered the boys not to play on the grass. So this is an imperative or, uh, you know, imperative order sentence. Therefore, she ordered the boys not to play on the grass. And thank you so much for listening to me. This was the, you know, one of the uh, most demanded video from the student side. Many students requested for this particular uh, video, direct or indirect, and then change then change the wise active and passive that will uh, we will cover soon and uh, as we are aware about the fact very soon we are going to appear for the examination and therefore preparing well in advance is the necessity of this particular time right and therefore how to prepare that is the question and that's why i'm giving answer to all of you for your that question below in description box you will find the link of a google drive there is one PDP which is password protected. I will provide you password in the link. Put the password and see the 500 plus MCQs on the entire syllabus. And best of luck for the examination. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.